With only 67 days left until Election Day in November, we await the latest polls that will show the impact Romney and Ryan's strong showing at the convention will have on the race for the White House. Now, one preliminary poll from Reuters shows that Mitt Romney has taken the lead over Barack Obama, 42, I'm sorry, 44, 42 percent. That's a six-point jump for him. The GOP ticket was aided by the impassioned appearances by fellow Republicans at the convention, one of whom is my next guest. But not everyone was happy with Mia Love's speech. It seems following her address, someone vandalized her Wikipedia page with some very offensive changes. Joining me now, fresh off her rousing speech, is Utah congressional candidate Mia Love. Mia, welcome uh, to the program. Great job at the convention. Great to see you. Great to see you too, Sean. All right, let's first go to some of these horrific things that people put up on Wikipedia. I don't even really want to read them. We'll put them up on the screen if people want to read them themselves. I mean, just really horrible things. Uh, you sold your soul in the name of big business, a word I'm not going to mention, uh, a sellout, you know, horrible things, which, by the way, African Americans are often called if they are conservative. I want to get your reaction to that. You know, those words, I'm no victim, so those words, they don't bother me. You know, I, am I surprised? No. Am I disappointed? Absolutely. I, I think the, that the issues that are facing Americans right now, they, they're colorblind. You know, we, when China comes back and decides that they're, they're going to they want their money back, you know, they don't care what color our children are. They don't care what gender our children are. All right, let me, let me go, because Joe Biden's comments probably got the most uh, attention when he said, unchain, they want to put you all back in chains. Then you have the the Los Angeles mayor, you know, talking about the Republican convention, and there were many minorities, African Americans, Hispanics, many women speaking there, uh, as there have been, by the way, in past conventions. He said, well, you just can't put, trot out a brown face or a Spanish surname and expect people are going to vote for your party or your, your candidate. People in their states, in their districts. Uh, I want to get your reaction to this. It seems like a false narrative that the Democrats want to advance to demonize conservatives. What's your reaction? Look, we have a choice. I think, you know, I, I think it's time for us to stand up. We have a choice. We can have a president that's going to divide this nation, or we can have a president that's going to unite this nation, that's going to lift the economy, that's going to look at all of us equally as Americans. I'll tell you right now, the president I choose is Mitt Romney, because he sees me as an individual. He sees me equally as an American. And like I said, they, they can talk about all of these issues all they want. The problems that we face here, they, it doesn't, they don't see color. When a mom is out there trying to go to the grocery store and realizes that the price has gone up, when she's trying to put food on their table and they realize that the bills are piling up, it doesn't have a color. They're going to be more concerned about the issues. They're going to be more concerned about jobs. And we're going to see in America vote for a president that's going to deal with these you issues. You see, but you're getting right to the heart of the issue, is that Barack Obama's policies have failed. He said he'd cut the deficit in half, he said he'd create jobs, all these things. They didn't work, so now they resort to these tactics. Um, if Mitt Romney would ask your advice, how best to handle this false narrative, this caricature that Democrats want to paint of, of what conservatives are like, what's your answer to him? I think he's doing a great job. I think he's doing a great job because, again, when we're looking at the, when we're looking at the the 23 million Americans that are out of work, when we're looking at the the people that have just decided to stop giving up work, the people that are having a hard time investing because they have no idea what the what the tax uh, what taxes are going to look like, they're going to vote for somebody because they're going to vote for somebody who's going to deal with these issues. They're not going to vote for the divider in chief. They're going to vote for the person that is going to get us back on our feet economically, the person that's going to bring down the national debt, and the person that's going to deal with big spending government. Do you, have you experienced what, what other African Americans have experienced in terms of being a conservative and minority? Often they're called horrible names. Has, has that been your experience in life at all? You know, you'll get some people that'll that'll you know come out and and as we did just this week on Wikipedia. But again, you have to understand, I'm here first and foremost not as a candidate for Congress, but as a wife, as a mother of my three children, as a concerned citizen. And I realize my children aren't going to have the same opportunities I had growing up. They're not going to have the same opportunities that my parents had coming into this country in the 70s that have had the that have been able to work hard for everything that they have. 
and I'm a product of that. And so as a parent, I don't care what they say, they can bring it on. I think what we need to do as Americans is start voting for people that are going to help us in these issues. We need to stand behind Mitt Romney. We're going to stand behind people that are in Congress that are going to be able to help Mitt Romney and get this country back on its feet. And that's what we need to concentrate on. All right, Mia, a rising star. You got a tremendous reaction. Congratulations to you. We'll be following your campaign very, very closely out there in Utah. And thanks for being with Sean, us. Sean, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet.